How's it going guys, Pens for Friends here. Today I thought I'd take a bit of a different direction compared to my latest videos. In case you didn't know, I'm quite an avid trader, and I try to stay up to date with the latest news regarding the TF2 economy and stuff. So, this video will be covering something quite recent that's going to have a large impact on the way we trade. Scrap.tf's acquisition of Backpack.tf Now, on the surface, this seems like not a big deal, right? Not so. What ScrapTF decides to do and change about Backpack will leave a massive impact on how we trade in the future. Now, before I go gushing my opinions out like a severed artery, let's dive right into the facts. A blog post on Scrap.tf was posted four days before this video, that's June 2nd, 2017 if you're watching from the apocalypse. It included general details regarding their plan for the site. To get more specific, the key points of the post were that, to quote, they have no plans to amend the price suggestion process, Giel, owner, overlord, and key operator of the site, was approached by the owner of Backpack TF and not the other way around. They have long-term plans to adjust the classified system, some tweaks to premium, and more accurate Steam community market information, amongst other things. Now, a lot of people are losing their marbles over this, and I can't really blame them. Scrap.tf is quite notorious for selling overpriced items, such as hats, stranges, unusuals, and basically anything that isn't a unique weapon. With the ability to control Backpack.tf, TF2's most prominent free market for trading, people are concerned that Scrap.tf will force people to use their bots and pay their prices. Just to be clear, this is totally within their reach, so if you're freaked, you have a reason to be. But, Giel has made it very clear that he has no intentions of changing the price suggestion system, which I find relieving, although he could be lying. Who knows? Anyways, assuming he's being honest, this only leaves us the classified system to worry about. But realistically, if he's not bamboozling us, then it's probably safe to assume that they're just doing it to optimize it. Now, the previous owner of Backpack.tf is apparently selling it due to lack of involvement, and so it will get the attention it deserves. Anyway, I uh, guess this is a good way to wrap this up then. To summarize, ScrapTF is buying Backpack.tf and making some improvements that, and they almost certainly aren't going to change the price check system, abuse their monopoly, or establish communism. So stay tuned on the topic, let's see how this plays out. I'm Pence for Friends, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.